fight Hong Kong with freedom. In 1912, Hong Kong repeatedly conceptualized the formation of the ANC. He had already spoken about the emancipation of the African people. What we did in Galaga as the Youth League was just to reinforce the position of the ANC. Even the ANC in 1994, when he spoke about a better life for all, it was speaking about the economic emancipation of the African majority. So those who have hijacked this struggle must never make you to be ashamed to be associated with this struggle. This is the struggle for our people, is a struggle we must relentlessly fight as the people of South Africa and the people of Mpumalanga, the people of Nkangala region. This is our struggle. The Communist Party under Joslovo was fighting for this struggle. The Communist Party under Chris Hani was fighting for this struggle. The Communist Party under Blade Zimande is continuing to fight this struggle, so we must never be ashamed. This is our struggle, Makabane. There is no modern day revolutionary who has invented the struggle for economic freedom. The ANC was fighting for economic freedom since 1912. It is a struggle of the African people. We must always be associated with it and we must make sure that the ANC reclaim its position in society. We are aware, Comrade Majuba, as I was thanking you for allowing us to put some few words here. We have been denied ourselves on many occasions being disrupted by hired hooligans. These hooligans have always been hired, Comrade uh, Secretary. We were not shocked when we saw what happened in Ganya Mazan. This thing also happened to us at the funeral of Comrade Khotsu. The way this farm man is so unashamed, he is so immoral, he even tried to disrupt a funeral of a former chairperson of the youth. Comrades, I'm not speaking rhetoric. We have got a video of a person who was video comment confessing, unaware. We asked him, what do you do? Why did you come here? He said he was in Babaton drinking. Some, a councillor from Babaton told him that he must go tomorrow. There's a trip to Standerton. He said, poor as I am, I was excited to be taken to a trip by the council of the ANC. <laughs> it's not rhetoric. They came from Babaton, they went all the way to Standerton to disrupt a funeral. The most immoral thing to have been done by the ANC leader since I was born. Even P.W. Porter was not worse than what we have today. <laughs> what we have today, we are told that our leaders, is a clear replica of Mabutu Seseseko of Zaire. Who wanted people to clap hands for him even when he was doing wrong things. He wanted a group of cheer and praise singers. He wanted a group of cheerleaders, not a critical board of opinion in society. This kind of behavior does not only happen for you comrades, members of the party. We have also grown up in the YCL and the part. But this farm man, he does not want anybody he think might disagree with him to speak anywhere. Whether it's a bad day of yourself, it's a funeral of your friend, it's a party or a wedding of your friend or your father. As long as he knows that you don't agree with him, he will come and disrupt the wedding. <laughs> He will come and disrupt the birthday party. He will come and disrupt anything of any person he does not agree with. His lieutenants and foot soldiers are not allowed to attend even a party of their friends as long as it is known that they disagree with that person. He must account for anything even when going to a toilet, you must say, I'm now going to a toilet. <laughs> These are the kinds of politics we are now accustomed to in the province of Mpumalang. Why can't we then be proven wrong that it is indeed incorrect these allegations that are flying around? 
Where are the senior leaders of the ANC to defend and tell us the history of this person? Where are the senior leaders of the ANC to tell us the underground activities of this cater? We have felt the wrath of this phenomenon. It was therefore no show of comrades that the lecture by the TG was disrupted in Ganyamazan because there must be nobody who knows the history of this man to speak anywhere in the country, not only in the province. It's a rule by depoliticization of the masses of Mpumalang. The agenda has been clear since 2008, depoliticize them and oppress them. When they are more ill-informed, then the farm man will be able to direct the province to any direction he wants. He must think for us, he must tell us which oxygen to breathe and which one not to breathe. One person must think for the entire province of Mpumalang. We are not allowed to engage anywhere, ourselves with Comrade Clarence and Chris. We are not expelled in the ANC. But we are not allowed to attend a, a mere branch meeting. To go to a branch meeting, there must be security that is going to take you out of the ANC meeting. We are saying the Tuli House has been too lenient to this man for many years. Even his re-election was fraudulent. There was a lot 